Welcome back to Soak Up the Sun. First, we need our SPF, also known as Say Prayers Frequently. On the third day of God's creation, he took all the raw material that he had made earlier and started to form them into the shapes he wanted. He named the waters the seas and told them where to start and where to end. And he named the dry land the earth and told it where to appear, just where he wanted it. We learn from the scripture reading in Genesis that God saw that it was good. He was like an artist, stepping away from his sculpture and admiring the way things were coming together. Then something wonderful happened. God made the first living things begin to grow on the earth. He created plants. Out of the ground there appeared vegetation of every kind producing their own types of seeds. Plants and trees started sprouting up everywhere. Flowers grew vegetables, fruit trees with fruits, grains, and grasses, so many living things, both small and great. And God saw that it was good. What a miracle. On the third day, God caused life to rise up from the earth. So many of our prayers can remind us of God's creation of plants. All the foods we eat would not exist without plants. We make bread out of ground up grains and juice out of ground up oranges or apples. Even when we eat fish or meat, those animals first eat plant life in order to grow. Without plants, we cannot have our daily bread. When you say the Lord's Prayer together, pay special attention to these words to remember what God created on the third day for us. Give us this day our daily bread. Now, read and discuss the following questions together. Now it's time to dive in as we keep creation in mind. First, let's grow our own plants. Did you know that plants are natural air purifiers? Caring for a few house plants doesn't take a lot of time and the whole family can participate. Children can water plants with leftover water from meals. Doing this, we learn how to care for other living things and the plants give us cleaner air in return. Plant a flower, fruit, or a vegetable of your choice starting from its seeds. Notice that we will need to use the earth and water to plant them in, just like God did on the third day. Take pictures of your seed sprouting to record the stages of plant life cycle. Next, we'll remember that less is more. One way to honor God's creation of plants is to enjoy more fresh, whole fruits and vegetables and less processed snack foods. It's fine to enjoy snack foods sometimes, but it's also a good thing to learn which foods give our bodies the best vitamins they need to grow healthy and strong. Most importantly, we should remember to always be grateful for the food we eat. Make a holy habit of thanking God before you eat anything. Ask him to bless your food for health of your body and soul. Don't forget to take lots of pictures and videos and share with us using the hashtag soak up the sun. To download the full family activity guide for week four, just visit the Soak Up the Sun website. See you next week.